The change of base formula for logs. So if you look at your calculator, what you notice is that you actually only have two buttons that relate to logarithms. You have log and you have natural log, okay? So those are the only two buttons that, only two bases that your calculator can actually handle. So if we want to tackle something like log base two of seven, we need to figure out a different way to enter this into our calculator, okay? So by common sense, log base two of seven is fairly close to log base two of eight, okay? So this is fairly close to log base two of eight. Log base two of eight is three. Two to the third is equal to eight. So I know that log base seven is going to be a little bit less than three, okay? But that typically is not gonna really fly in terms of an answer. You say, oh, it's gonna be a little bit less than three. So there has to be a way for us to figure out exactly what this is, which is where the change of base formula comes in, okay? So what that means, if we have log base b of x, what this is equal to is log of x of any base over log of b of any base, as long as those two bases are the same. Okay, so sort of how I think about it is your b just drops down to become its own log. And then as long as these two boxes I have here are the same base, this statement is equivalent to the statement over here. Okay, for most purposes, because if we want to find an exact number, we're going to have to put in the calculator. You're going to want to choose either base 10 or base e, the common or natural log. Okay, so let's go back to this log base 2 of 7. Okay, there's a couple ways we can rewrite this then. Okay, so log base two of seven. If we want to use the common log, log base 10, we could say this is equal to log seven over log two. If we want to use the natural log, what we can do is natural log of seven over natural log of two. Or we could choose a, a base completely random, let's say 84. And this would also be equal to the log base 84 of 7 over log base 84 of 2. Okay, That last way is not very practical in terms of putting it into our calculator, but just to show you how this all works, it could be any base as long as they're the same. Now, a point of clarification. This doesn't mean that the log of 7 is equal to the natural log of 7. Okay, What it means is that the ratio of these two log of 7 over log of 2 is equal to the natural log of 7 over natural log of 2. Okay. From here, we could enter either of these into our calculator just by using the logarithm button. End up with the log of 7 divided by the log of 2. And this ends up to be 2.81, which, like we said to begin with, is going to be close to 3, but a little bit smaller. So the change of base formula, it's really convenient for putting in different bases other than E or 10 into your calculator.